Qualifying's done, by the way, Robert. now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Freaky Fast Broadcasting, we welcome you to coverage from the Eldora Speedway as it is the next round of the SWAT PMI Truck Series. Tonight, it is the Eldora E-Dirt Derby presented by CompServe Wireless from the virtual house that Earl built the Eldor Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio on the iRacing Simulator. Broadcast coverage, of course, on Freaky Fast Broadcasting. Ready to go, presented by Conserve Wireless and Simulation World Auto Group and Swag E-Raps and Graphics. I'm Wesley Outland, the voice of Swag. Joined alongside is, of course, Robert Moyer Sr. And Robert, I'll tell you what, buddy, this is going to be a great race here tonight. The Dirt Eldor Speedway Trucks, a special format heat races and then a 100 lap event as right now we're checking out qualifying results from Eldor. That is correct. Welcome ladies and gentlemen here tonight at Eldora Speedway. We're going to throw some dirt, a little bit of mud, Wesley, and this is going to be a fun race to watch. Certainly going to be a great time. Of course, Garrett Maines was the fast qualifier, the driver for Elliott Sadler Esports at Appleton, Virginia, in his Ford, 19.622. And now the field is getting ready to get set for heat races. Heat races on the racetrack, as uh, we will have two heat races, it looks like. We'll take nine from each. 15 laps total. Caution laps will count. And uh, in, in two heat races, uh, we'll set the field for, it looks like, uh, the inside for heat number one and the outside for heat number two, Robert. That is correct. We'll see who's going to put it on the pole and who's going to start second. And then we'll shuffle the field all the way down through and see who starts. And you know, it's going to go off of where they qualify here tonight in this heat race here. So it's, uh, it's going to be fun, man. Eldora, home of Tony Stewart. Man, oh, yeah. man, oh man, let's get ready to throw some dirt, ladies and gentlemen. What do they call this? The house that Earl built. We're ready to have fun here on Freaky Fast Broadcast. And hope you're doing well uh, on this uh, Thursday evening as we're ready to go for heat race number one. Garrett Baines and Peyton Howell on the front row. Kernan Church, Jerry Bogard, row two. Jade Franklin, Curtis Critchley, row three. Navarro, green Gagnon, flag, all in this flag. mix as we are ready to go in heat race number one. Contact already on the start. Baines in the middle lane. He'll power his way into the outside lane, and they're going to stick it four wide almost for the lead of the back straight away. Wow, what a move there. Mogard powering his way to that top spot. There's the battle for first between Garrett Maines, Jared Mogard. Oh. Contacts made. Critchley goes spinning. Smacks his truck up against the outside retaining wall. And caution will come out. Remember, caution laps do count. We'll have to quickly get ready to reset the field but i'll tell you what though that's a freaky fast replay coming up as we are under the yellow flag let's check out and see what happened robert all right well let's go back here and let's see exactly what happened here as they were side by side i know the two was involved i think it happened up in front i have to find out and see where this all started wesley here as yes, sir. you can see them four wide and all oh, right there it looked oh, like yeah. 11. that's peyton howell peyton howell in the 11. And he got turned, and Critchley, Mogard, and, and look at Garrett Maine slithering his way at the flag stand to get out of harm's way. 
and avoid calamity. And honestly, uh, as we see also, Jason Maines go spinning. That's Garrett's father, Jason Maines, in the oh, two. Okay. That that could have been a lot worse than it turned out to be. Those drivers could have had a lot more significant damage virtually, but no harm, no foul. We continue along with the race. Well, and that's one thing here at Adora, though, also, Wesley, is that damage really ain't going to matter to a point you know these trucks are going to get beat up they're going to be slapping the the right side of that truck against the wall numerous times and tail whipping it around so you know a little bit of damage no harm like you said no foul uh, we're all good exactly and, and by the way uh, normally we do cover uh, crn sports uh, coverage of the swag uh, pmi truck series uh, unfortunately i literally asked robert i just got to phoenix <laughs> city alabama just checked into the hotel room had five minutes to set up my equipment, and right two minutes before going live, uh, we're on the air. So uh, uh, we will upload the broadcast uh, of this event later on on CRN Sports uh, social media at wearecrn.com, and hopefully by next uh, Thursday night we'll be live on CRN Sports with coverage. But, of course, uh, Freaky Fast Broadcasting, our new partner, um, not going to indulge in what in on. I just think it's uh, amicably that the parties that were apart decided to split ways. And uh, this is uh, a fast uh, remedy to try to find a way to keep the entertainment value going to try to promote the Swag Truck Series. So uh, we're back underway. Green flag in the air. We're five laps in, 10 to go. And on the bottom of the racetrack, Robert, it is Mr. Garrett Maines out in front. He is the Pied Piper of the esports world nowadays, uh, dominating on the pavement and now on dirt. Oh, yeah. Well, I've been watching a lot of the e-swags here and uh, everything that goes on, and I definitely know that Garrett Mains, man, is a fast cat. I mean, that guy is fast out there, week in and week out, and you know what? He's showing it on the dirt. He knows how to get around and swinging that bad boy all around, and he's he's really got that bottom line working really, really good as the track don't look too slick out there. It looks like the track's still a little grippy out there for everybody so far there, Wesley. Yes, sir. Watch them as they uh, work their way again off the corner as it's heat number one. Eight laps to go. We're halfway home here in heat number one for the Eldora e -Dur Derby presented by ComServe Wireless. The leader is Garrett Maines in second spot. Peyton Howell. Jay Franklin is there to the bottom of the racetrack trying to make a run. Here comes Jared Bogard on the inside as these drivers work their way off the corner. Another lap in. Garrett Maines in his own world out in front as we see Gagnon battling with Kern Insurance for position, also in that mix as well as Franklin. Well, Franklin's looking pretty good, up three positions in that number 31 here. He's battling it for a second there with, uh, who is that, Peyton? I'm sorry, I do apologize to everybody. I gotta learn names. <laughs> yes, sir, well, we'll take care of you, buddy. Uh, you definitely, Peyton Howell, Peyton Howell out of okay. Radford, Virginia. He's in the uh, number 11 truck machine. He's in second spot. So we're watching these drivers work their way around the racetrack. And that's that battle for second with Peyton Howell having it. You're riding on board still with Jay Franklin. Franklin, Jukin, Jivin turning the wheel to the front straightaway. Laps wind down. And we're coming up on five to go this time by. Four to go. Correction. I'm sorry. It's actually five to go last lap. Four to go this time by. Man, these laps are going by uh, fairly clean. Heat races for the time being, just that one little hiccup on the start of things on lap number two. And since then, it's been an awesome performance by Garrett Maines. He's going to come to the line down the front straightaway and three to go now, Robert, back into turn two. Yeah, I don't think anybody has him right now, anything for him. He's still running them 19.7s, and it looks like the top five are still running in that 19.7. As we have the 22 here, actually putting down the fastest lap now there, Wesley, with a 19.59. That is, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, well, now he put down a 19.57. <laughs> Working their way to the line this time by. It will be the white flag. One more lap to go here in heat race number one for the trucks. Top seven running order as it stands is again those drivers. Final lap, one lap to go. Mains, Howell, Franklin, Gag, and Church, Byron, and of course, Bogart. Those drivers will advance in to the inside of heat race number one for the feature for the 100 lap event around Eldor. Turn four, checkered flag, give it to Garrett Baines from Palton, Virginia. The man in the Smithfield Foods Toyota, number one for Elliott Sadler Esports. Another heat race win for that driver. Peyton Howell, the young man I call Baby Shark, will finish in the number two spot. 
Then it's going to be Brandon Gagnon finishing in third. And those drivers again will transfer into the inside of the 100 lap feature coming up here later tonight. How about that, uh, Robert? Good heat race. That was a great heat race. Well, we know what here is where he's going to be sitting out here tonight, Wesley. He's going to put himself on the pole. And now we're going to see who's going to start outside of him here in heat race number two. Ready to go with heat race number two, and we are set to give you the starting lineup. The man out of, uh, of course, originally from New York. He's now out of Nashville, Tennessee, or just outside of Nashville. Brett Rolls will be on the pole in the number, uh, yeah, the right. number nine machine. Yeah, no, that's your heat one results. There's your heat one results one more yeah. time. And now let's give you your starting lineup for heat race number two. Once we get it up and going here, we'll show it uh -huh. to you. As, again, heat race one results, Garrett Maines getting the win over Peyton Howell. As uh, we saw heat yeah. number one, now we'll get ready for heat race number two. Brett Rolls will be on the pole in the number nine machine, followed by B.J. Duvall out of Mannington, West Virginia, car number 32. It's okay, buddy. I got I got uh, the SDK in front of me with time and scoring. So it's uh, Brett Rolls and, and B.J. Duvall on the front row. Nicholas Sacco and Derek Fulton, row number two. Pete Pellini and Matthew Lee, row number four. Then it's going to be Aaron Johnson and Kyle Fowler, row four. Jason Rominger and Billy Weeks, the rundown for heat race number two. So there you see the lineup. We're ready to go. As Brett rolls, ready to bring this field to the green flag alongside B.J. Duvall. 15 laps. This will set up the outside lane for the feature coming up in the Eldora e Dirt Derby presented by Comser Wireless Pace Truck. It's ready to drop onto the pit lane. Here green, come green, the virtual... Green. Warlords coming out of turn number four, down to the line, green flag in the air, we're underway, and it's Brett Rolls on the jump there, three wide for third in the back off two. What a run for these drivers as they hit the back straightaway into turn number three. Brett Rolls on the inside, he's the man out in front as we watch these drivers work their way off the corner, down to the line, opening lap, give it to Brett Rolls. You've got uh, Tennessee, West Virginia, Canada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Virginia. The top six right now in the early going. That's where they're from off turn four, Robert. Wow. Do we got any anybody from Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a dog the bounty hunter. Unless oh, he moves oh. because of the, the election. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, Brett Rolls, the man out in front. He's leading the way in uh, that number nine machine, the number nine truck doing good. Out in front, Peyton Howell in second spot as they work their way off the corner, ready to come to the line, another lap in. And it is a, a good show now for these drivers as, again, it is Mr. Brett Rolls out in front. Will Duvall, a man that normally runs a lot in the dirt, uh, Robert. He sits comfortably in second. And honestly, Brett Rolls is also a dirt driver. And, and then you've got Matthew Lee, who sits uh, in the third spot right there, a man that... Uh, is um, a pavement man out of Clinton, Maine, but he sits comfortably in that third spot. And by the way, that will allow him to start sixth in the feature if he finishes in that position because this will set up the outside of the front row. That is correct, as we got a good battle I'm going back here with that 78 of Aaron. We got Derek back here in that seven. We got Kyle in the five. These guys are all battling for a position back here with 10 laps to go. 10 laps to go. The laps tick it away. As we watch these drivers working their way back around the racetrack. Down into turn number one and two. Look out. Look who Brett rolls, man. He's he's leading the way. There you see this nice battle in the back between Duvall and Lee. Second and third. Watching them as they come off the corner. The 9, the 32, the 0, 4. Nice view from the fans' view down the front straightaway back into turn number one. And here it comes now Duvall trying to close in on Brett Rolls. Can't get there. He's on the inside. You're running on board with him right now in the number 0, 4 machine. No, I'm sorry, the 32 of, of Will Duvall. I know it says BJ du Duvall, but it's Will Duvall. He's out of Mannington, West Virginia, the one dumb wonder they call him the outlaw. He's trying to close in on Tennessee's wow. Brett Rolls. And look at that shot right there off the corner, off he, the left rear quarter. He picked up some ground here in the past two laps there, Wesley, man. He has picked up the speed. Nice, awesome oh. racing, watching these drivers. Here we go again. Battle for the lead. 
Uh, he doesn't get the slide job done going out of turn number two there. But he's not going to give it up. Wesley, he's going to try to do it here again. Coming out of four, just doesn't have enough yet. And I think he's going to reset for five laps and see if he can push again and maybe get that slide job done. Yeah, we'll have to see what he can do here real quickly. Watch him as he works his way down the back straightaway into turn number three. Brett Rolls still the man out in front. Great heat race lineups, man. You know, we were kind of worried how long it would take to run these heat races, but it's like I said on the phone, let it be in the driver's hands. If they want to race, let them race. If it's going to be a wreck fest, that's their prerogative. Put them on the clock. But for the most part, these drivers have done an entertaining job so far, a good job in these, uh, these swag PMI truck series. To the line, three to go, and you see how hard the ball is on the wheel, trying to turn it left, and yes, just like the movie cars, you've got to turn right to go left. The Hudson Hornet was right. Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> got to turn right to go left. Look at the way he's wheeling it, dealing up the corner out of turn number two. Wow. Down off of turn four to the start finish line. Popsicle sticks in the air, two to go. It's Rawls, it's the ball, one and two. He's trying to close in. Was he waiting for that last lap? to throw it out there at him, to throw the slider, as they say in the dirt world, uh, Robert. And I think he's going to try to make his move right here as we come for the white silk. Yep, that's I, so I, what so I said. With five laps to go, I think he set back and, uh, you know, pulled them tires down a little bit. And then now he's going to do the push. He gives a little Woo! bump. Hang on, baby. Inside, inside. He's got to run to the bottom. Run to the bottom, crossover on the outside by Rolls. Can he pull it off? He's gonna drift up in front of him. Will he catch him? No, he will not. Checkered flag, Brett oh. Rolls. Close at the line by nearly 130 thousandths at the strike. You've got a 19.692 to a 19.600. There's the difference of victory. Matthew Lee will finish in third. Two, almost three seconds back. Then it's Johnson. Fulton, Sacco, Fowler, Rominger, Pellini, Weeks, and a partridge in a pear tree. The rundown of heat race number two. What a show they put on, Robert. This is awesome. I cannot wait. So now we look like we are going five minutes until we go. We to... are. This is this is our warm up session. This is the warm up session before the feature. So uh, this will give us an opportunity, real quickly, to thank uh, some of our sponsors. And uh, we want to announce real quickly a big thanks to, of course, ComServe Wireless. Uh, the key to driving customers is, of course, Verizon. Verizon is the number one cellular company in the entire world and they now offer 5 Drake G. Uh, the for all of your Verizon wireless needs and FIO needs, go to ComServe Wireless. So they have 27 locations between Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Uh, ComServe Wireless locations and websites, and even if you're interested in work in a career, is all available at ComServeWireless.com. Again, that is ComServeWireless.com. Proud partner of the Swag Esports Series, in addition to tonight's sponsor for the Eldora E-Dirt Derby here on Freaky Fast Broadcasting. We will step away when we come back. We will introduce the starting lineup. And uh, I'll tell you what, Robert, we're going to go feature racing 100 laps around Eldora Speedway when we return. That is correct, and we will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the sights and sounds here at Eldora Speedway. Back here at the Eldora Speedway, the Simulation World Auto Group Esports coverage of the SMI, uh, PMI Truck Series. Uh, it is tonight's Eldora E Dirt Derby presented by ComServe Wireless on Freaky Fast Broadcasting and on Delay for CRN Sports. I'm Wesley Outland, Robert Moyer Jr. alongside, and again on behalf of Billy and Rhonda Smith, the Sharks, we thank you for joining us. 
for coverage. If you'd like to know more about uh, Swag, ERAP C Graphics, you want to follow them on Swag on Facebook, Swag, and of course also Swag Esports Racing on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course Swag Stimulation World Auto Group. And uh, again, this is uh, a, a, a put together race because uh, there was uh, we were supposed to have been on another network and and then things changed and uh and then it was going to be possibly not airing anything and then we were able to put something together very quickly with robert to make this race happen and, and the reason why robert is it's you know we we love we love esports but we also love to entertain the the virtual racing fans and uh and that's why we did it for the people to be able to be entertained tonight uh, so i definitely appreciate you uh stepping up to freaky fast broadcasting and beginning a relationship with swag and We'll see how things go from here for sure, buddy. And then I appreciate uh, your friendship as well. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. I want to say thank you to all the fans out there for the support here at Freaky Fast Broadcasting. And you, Wesley, uh, you know, up here helping in the booth here. And I also like to give a big shout out to Swag. We haven't sports. worked together. We haven't worked together since Labor Day and the, uh, oh my God. the, Has it been that the Indy 500 race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it was. It was back in, uh, I want to say it was back in August. What was it? The weekend that they actually ran the, the Indianapolis yes. 500 because yes. of COVID. Yes. And that's how we did the race together. Yes. 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 Uh, in Indy 500, where Zach Hall, one of the commentators that we have up here at Freaky Fast during the week. He um, won it. Yep. Yep. He won that bad boy and uh, took home some cash on that there, too. So it was an awesome, awesome event to listen to you, Wes. Uh, Wesley uh, called the race there with Lee Tidwell. And, and if anybody wants to know that race, go back and watch it because we had uh, Wesley getting in late. We had <laughs> Lee Tidwell sitting in his car on his phone broadcasting a race. And at the end of the race with Zach Hall winning there, Wesley, he dumped a glass of milk over his head. So you can go to Instagram at, at Freaky Fast and you can literally see a picture of Zach Hall dumping a glass of milk on his head and he said that was the worst mistake he ever did <laughs> well maybe he's lactose intolerant I yeah I, so. I don't even know how we got that <laughs> event even going man wesley was somewhere else we had lee sitting in a car at work <laughs> yeah whatever it takes for sure whatever Amen it takes on that well, before we let anybody uh, have some uh, calcium problems, it's time to start the field and get ready to go for 100 laps in the next round of the SWAG Eldor E Dirt Derby presented by ComServe Wireless here on Freaky Fast Broadcasting. The field is getting set in just a couple of moments. We'll give you the starting lineup for the feature. It will be 100 laps, caution laps count. Uh, they will not finish under yellow flag. Let's give you your starting lineup, and there it is right there. Row number one from Palton, Virginia, for Elliott Sandler Sports, the number one Smithfield Foods Toyota, and that is going to be Garrett Maines on the pole. Uh, to the outside, it's going to be the number nine of Brett Rolls. He was your Heat 2 winner in the number nine machine. Uh, we're looking at warm-up results yeah. from the last practice session, it's and it looks like Garrett Maines was the fast man. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen out there. That it's wants okay. To the starting lineup it is not registering the starting lineup. It just gives me it, it, heat. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I, I have it in front of me. Uh, uh, again, Garrett Maines and Brett Rolls, run number one. Run number two is going to be PJ Duvall in the 32, followed by the driver of uh, Peyton Howell in the number 11. Row number three, Matthew Lee in the 04, Brandon Gagnon in the 83. Row four, Jake Franklin in 31, Aaron Johnson in the 78. Derek Bowman in the 7, Kern and Church in the 22, Nicholas Sacco in the 29, Ken Byron in the 10. Row number 7 will find Jared Mogard and Kyle Fowler, Andrew Navarro and Jason Rominger in the 42 and 15. Pete Pellini, row 9 in the 51 along with Father Jason Baines. Billy Weeks in 68 along with Brian Kendall. Then it's going to be Curtis Critchley in 54. Two trucks unable to ring the bell and that includes Jim Grady Jr., and Bladen Edwards. That is your starting lineup here tonight for 100 laps coming up at Eldor. All right, Robert. We're ready to go, buddy. 100 laps, Eldor. This is going to be fun, right? <laughs> Sorry, the chat out there with the fireworks going off scared the crap out of everybody. But I do apologize. Because there's nothing what? I can do as we go green flag. Yes, sir. Green to the air. We are set. 
100 laps, the Swag Super Trucks here in Elmore. The PMI Truck Series, and they're gonna stick it four wide, just like they did in heat number one. And they're gonna negotiate off the corner at a turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a virtual race. 100 laps were underway at Eldor. Garrett Main to lead the opening jump, Robert. And look at this, man. Garrett Main's gonna pull out over Brandon there in that 83, but we got a pack of cars back here. Holy mackerel, trucks all over each other. Here they come out of turn number four. It is going to be the man, Garrett Baines, out in front. Baines, Gagnon, rolls. Franklin Duvall, top five as it stands. Down into the turn number three now. It's going to be Kernan Church. He'll peek his nose down to the inside. There you see him in the 22. The truck that looks black and yellow. Go Steelers, go Steelers. They're Amen. doing good this year. Yes, sir. Aren't you proud of them like I am? I'm a big Steelers fan. Me too, me too. Big Steelers fan. Diehard Steelers fan. We're yes, going to sir. the Super Bowl and we're going to win it all. And the story, on to the race. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and by the way, they will be the all-time winningest NFL team if they get it done as well. So uh, don't count your chickens before they hatch, though, but uh, doing a good job. Garrett Maines, by the way, out in front. He leads the way. Uh, almost half a second back is Brandon Gagnon. There you see the couple of truck links back in third. Is there you go with Brett Rolls, and then you got this gaggle of traffic behind them, led by Franklin Duvall, Lee, Church, Fulton, all in this mix. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, they are not practicing social distancing and virtually as they go to turn one. No, they are not, sir. They are battling it hard, trying to get every position they can, as it looks like that top line is starting to come in. Looks like the bottom line's struggling a little bit there, Wesley, but the uh, track does look a little tacky right now. Don't see no shine into the turn, so. We'll see how long that lasts here for 100 laps because eventually I think about mm, 25 to 50 laps into this thing, we're going to see some oh, yeah. uh, bald head shining on them uh, turns out there. Yeah, watching them as they work their way around the racetrack. And again, uh, look at them as they come off the corner down the front straightaway. It's Gary Baines out in front. Brandon Gagnon still in that spot. And there you see Kernan Church uh, slung out like a rag doll inside the top 10. He'll fall back to eighth as here comes drivers like Fulton and Lee down to the inside, down to the outside lane, battling along with those trucks as they work their way off the corner. Here they come down to the stripe. Another lap in. Watch that truck number 33, the ream heated and air conditioning entry number 33 way off the pace there for a moment and uh wow right right up under there's Aaron Johnson he'll hold it together and man I'm just I'll tell you we watch fault we watch Howell we watch Bogart we watch all these trucks in the early going and I'm just impressed we're 10 laps in 90 to go and they put on a heck of a job so far yes they have but that number 11 how there he just uh, bounced off the wall a little bit and look at the run he's trying to get on uh I don't even know who's in the front zero zero I don't know who's in the zero zero. Oh, that's Jared Mogard. Jared Mogard out of Minnesota in the double zero. Yep. Okay. All right. He's registered as car number eight on my ticker, but that's okay. <laughs> but we know who he is now. But, oh, look at how again into the wall there, Wesley. Really, really hard. That truck is just taking a beating. Yeah, one of the things that absolutely aggravate me announcing esports and uh, even real races in general is when. The timing and scoring number does not match the number on the track. So sometimes we have to figure them out. But I've been announcing with these guys for the last couple of months for the Swag Series. So I kind of got an idea. Well, trouble tomorrow. Down, bottom of the track. 42 goes around. Everyone getting on the binders to go to the top side to miss them. The Seven Seas Resorts, number 42. And that is going to be the Ford of Andrew Navarro going around. And the caution is out. Here's your replay. We'll watch it. Look at this. Matthew Lee and Will Duvall battling for position. This was inside the, the, the top five, if you will. And then they were going four wide. Then all of a sudden, where's Navarro at? He's the 42. And there's contact right there that kind of started things. 31 about Gotti to Johnson. That's Jake Franklin. I'm most into Aaron Johnson. And then Kern and Church goes around in the PMI truck number 22 Ford. And then this causes everyone to check up. And there's Navarro going around in 42. More trucks bouncing off the concrete virtually. And this is what calls the yellow flag right there, uh, Robert. Yeah, just a little contact, a little love tap, and whoop, that's all it takes. And around he goes, and it looks like out of the whole thing, that 42 just got the brunt of the hard deal there. 
as we go back live. Yes, sir. We are under the yellow flag. We'll go back, uh, get them re-racked and re-stacked. Hey, hey, I will say this, though, man. 15 laps in. That's a pretty good show they put on. 15 laps in before the caution. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great, great, great racing there to see with these guys. You can tell they know what they're doing. They know how to handle these trucks around here at Eldora. And uh, we have a delayed green flag here, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have to pace around one more time. Yes, sir. Under the under the caution flag. So uh, we'll get everybody reset back going again here in a moment. We'll try to get this back underway as we have a caution over the speedway involving uh, the four or five trucks that we just saw on the replay. Worst for wear was again Kernan Church in 22. And of course, uh, Andrew Navarro in the 42 machine. But we'll get ready to go back again. Hey, by the way, we mentioned uh, ComServe Wireless. And there are so many other partners that are a part of mm -hmm. what is the truck series uh, for the SWAG um, PMI truck series. And, and we're going to go through all of them as well as we get some downtime. But uh, again, we want to thank ComServe Wireless. We want to thank PMI Pavement Marking LLC. They're the title sponsor of the series. We also have, uh, again, Freaky Fast Broadcasting for the TV network, CRN Sports for the radio coverage. Uh, and again, we also want to thank Studio Displays, Body Balance by Rhonda, Swag, CMG Motorsports, Ryko Motorsports, Rock Batteries. And uh, again, thank you for all of them that are sponsors for the series. Green flag going back in the air. Fred rolls on the outside lane. He's trying to beat Gagnon. He's trying to beat it. Correction. Uh, uh, Gagnon and Maines now fighting for that spot. As uh, I got tongue tied there for a second, but the reason why uh, Robert is, is Garrett Maines, the cream of the crop, being attacked here. I was just ready to say, what happened to Garrett, man? He's going yeah. all the way back to third place. He got stuck down there in that low line, and I really don't think that low line is where to be right now, Wesley. I think, I, like I said a couple laps ago, the high line looks very, very racy, and that's where you want to be right now. And not saying that low line won't come in, but eventually I do believe it will come in and be the fastest way around the track here with probably about another... 20 laps or so would be my guess. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would say in about another probably 40 laps. And see, here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize about this race as well, uh, Robert. The trucks cannot take tires here at Eldora Speedway. That is why they could run a minimum of 100 laps. They do not do pit stops here at Eldora Speedway. And that's the reason why we do the format of qualifying and the heat races and all of that stuff because they do not pit stop. They they can come to the pits and take on fuel. They can make adjustments, but they cannot take tires. That is correct. Yes, sir. Yep, so you got to run the 100 laps on one set of tires, and uh, that can be tricky sometimes. Now, I don't know how tires react on dirt. I am not a dirt guy as, oh, we have the 11 going around the how. Looks like Ryan was involved into that one. Go back here on the replay and let's see exactly what happened here. Oh, we're going three wide and oop. Oh. And they get oh wow they, yeah they just got they got together and they couldn't get back off each other and the 31 hard into the inside wall there wesley and the 68 of ryan that's ryan kendall yep, yep. ryan kendall and the 31 they are getting together and that's jade franklin and that's a tough break there for jade franklin uh, now man up ahead uh, go back live here live put on the replay the 11 yep. here got spun around too so that's Peyton Howell. I think it's, it's coming up here very shortly. I did see him go around somewhere. I wonder if Bogart. I wonder if Bogart got into it. Let's see here. Bogart's right behind him right now with a double zero. They bounced off the wall. Looks like he bounced off the wall, and everybody kind of check up a little bit. And there's Bogart to his inside, and whoa, the ball lost it in front of him. Maybe I don't want to stay there. So. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I did see it because it's showing that he spun. I'm We're still checking it. the replay. Yeah. <laughs> We're still checking the replay. Oh, there he goes. There it is. Oh, put the pants there by the left rear of Bogart, the double zero. And that's what calls 
but caution to come out. Tough break there for, again, the uh, the baby shark. Peyton Howell of Radford, Virginia going around, and we'll re-rack them uh, and re them. Hey, by the way, we are almost uh, one quarter of the way through. Three quarters remain. 74 remaining here at the Eldora Speedway for the Comser Wireless three, three, three. Eldora E-Dirt Derby on Freaky Fast Broadcasting and pre-recorded on CRN Sports at wearecrn.com. Green flag goes back in the air on the jump, on the restart. It's Brett Rolls. Here comes Mains back on the inside. He'll try to come back for the lead to the inside, trying Ooh. to go for the crossover. Slide up job. the racetrack, slide job, back on the bottom comes Rolls. We got cars spinning, truck in the back going around almost. They'll hold it together. We'll stay green. They're back into one. Look at this. Wow. Looks like that slide job is going to be strong here tonight, everybody. 28 laps of 100 in the books here so far. Oh, now we got to 0-0, zero, zero, which would be Jared in the 8. He just hit the wall hard. Look at the he battle one. Did. Matt Lee's going at it up here. Now, anyways, wow, uh, Wesley, yeah. I just, uh, you said Baby Shark. Um, is that his nickname? Yes, Baby Shark. Yeah. Do, does he play the, the Baby Shark song? He used to when he come out to qualify it for the Butt <laughs> Kicker Challenge. We had him come out to the Baby Shark music during qualifying. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. That is cool. <laughs> Matthew Lee and, and, and Mogard by that spot. They'll work their way to the back straight away. That's inside the top five for fifth and sixth. Brandon Gagnon, Matthew Lee also is Will Duvall in that mix. And they are trying to run down here at Mains again from the fan camera view on Freaky Fast Broadcasting. Johnson, he'll send it down there along with Navarro in that machine as they work their way off a of turn two. Three wide on the back straight away. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, we have a yellow. It looks like uh, yeah, we do. Flowers is involved. Jason D. Lap Caution 31. coming up. Let's go back, ladies and gentlemen, and see exactly what happened with these guys here. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what happened here. I think it's, is it the five truck? I think it is. We're kind of watching. Kyle Fowler? Yes. Kyle Fowler in the five. There he is. Uh, out of, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. He got turned into there from the 31 of Jay Franklin. Yeah. Wow. Out of the blue. Came up, did the slide job, but he slid right into him. That's right. That's right. Well, that slide job didn't work. <laughs> we're 33 of 100 laps in here. We're under the yellow flag. 33 of 100 laps. The Eldora E-Dirt Derby presented by ComServe Wireless will begin with 27 locations uh, in Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland. They got you covered uh, for Verizon. You need the 5G Verizon power. They got you covered. Tablets and also on your smartphones, iPhones, Androids, doesn't matter. They got your tablets as well. And, of course, uh, they got the uh, the Fios, uh, whatever those are, the, the, whatever they call them. I'm, I'm not really sure what that was when I was given the scripts, uh, but uh, they have them as well. So we've got your... We've got all of your phone needs and, and FIOS or FIOS, F-I-O-S. That's all I know. So, uh, and again, go to comservewireless.com, 27 locations. You're in Pennsylvania, Robert. Then I have one near you. I'm out. I'm, uh, I'm uh, not near uh, Pittsburgh, so. Oh, okay. All Four right. Four hours away, but yeah, if they make well, it over I mean, here it, towards it, the East Coast. Yeah, it says they're in Pennsylvania, so I mean, I'm just kind of like, okay, where, where, where are they at in Pennsylvania? So, well, all I know is we have two <laughs> trucks getting involved down here, Wesley. Now Whoa, we just got a stack up. Oh, no. oh man! Jason Mains, Fowler, rack them and stack them. You have got a virtual mayhem of destruction. We are scattered, smothered, and covered off turn four virtually. Man, look at Jason Mains all tore up in the number two. And. So we got Ryan Kendall, Kyle Fowler, uh, man, let's see, was it uh, Jason Maines, Billy Weeks, a whole, whole bunch of trucks there. Let's watch it one more time on the replay. It was right after the restart. Watch it, that's Kyle Fowler, already involved in one problem earlier, the man out of, uh, out of Virginia. And oh, he goes on to the inside of the racetrack, Matt Lee. And I'm not sure how this started. Oh, well, there it goes. And Fowler. Get, oh, Lee got some damage. Mains gets collected. 
He hits the wall. The 15 gets tagged. The 10 gets involved. Kim Byron, Jason Rominger, the 68 up the racetrack. Orion Kendall, the 14 is wrecked to Billy Weeks. Jason Maines. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. We Big have trouble a, over there. We have a parking lot in turn two. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Virtual parking lot, man. Big trouble over there under the yellow flag. Yeah. Wow. It looked like it all started up there with the 10 of Ken. Yeah, I like that. 10 of Ken. Oh, uh, Verizon Fios or Fios is their internet plans. They have Verizon Fios for their internet plan. That's what it is. Thank you very much for clarifying that for me. Yes, thank you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now I know what it is. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, what are the Fios? Fios? What is it? <laughs> We're back to green here. Underway. I mean, I got Verizon, but I ain't never heard of Fios or Fios. I don't know if I need that. So, oh, look out. Oh, the 33. 33. A little loose there. Yes, sir. Hold on there. Don't save it. No, we won't. We'll go under caution as fast as we went back to green. Here we go. Yellow flag. There's your problem. 33 there. And, uh, man, that's, uh, I believe... I think Aaron, that's Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aaron Johnson. I think, Aaron Johnson. I, it I is, think he it got is. turned around. We'll There's Fulton. It. There's Gagnon. That's the 7 and 83. And we'll see what happens here. There's Will Duvall in front of them. This was for third spot up the racetrack. And we'll see what. Oh, Fulton's oh, right no. there. Ooh. No contact. Oh, he tagged off the back truck there. Couldn't see who that was. No, but actually, uh, Aaron there, he was already loose. That thing was coming around no matter what there, Wesley. Wow. So we're under the yellow flag here as, again, problems uh, involving that truck there of Johnson. Uh, Billy Weeks on the, is uh, on the pits. Also, Aaron Johnson in the pits. 40 laps in, 60 to go. And, and by the way, they cannot take on tires. You cannot take tires here at Eldora Speedway. So the race is 100 laps. Uh, from green to checker, you can pit if you need to get fuel, if you need to make adjustments, make fast repairs. But if you change tires, you're disqualified. You cannot change tires for the race at Eldora Speedway. Yeah. Mm. Well, you better hope you turn your tire check mark off on them when you come down here and uh, I pity. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if, you, if not, you're you're screwed. Rolls is the man out in front. Brett Rolls was on a mission the other night. He said he wanted to beat Garrett Maines. He wanted to run this race. He's normally my colleague in the announcer booth. Well, not tonight. He is wanting to race here. And he's in that number nine. The man originally from New York, now from Tennessee. Threads it down the front straightaway on the outside lane. Green back in the air. Maines on the inside. Here comes Rolls. He'll carry another dirt driver of the fall with him. Crossover on the inside. They're going to go door to door in the tournament three. It's going to be Rolls. Mains gagged in one, two, and three. More sliders and out of white crystal as they work their way out of turn four. What a battle we got going on back here for third, fourth, fifth place. And these trucks are all scattered. Look back here, here Wesley. No one wants to give up position, man. They're just fighting as... Oh, hang on. Yellow we have yellow. another yellow. Oh, man. Number 11 in that swag just got spun around again. Not his night at all. Man, what a tough break there for the number 11. All beaten battered and bruised virtually <laughs> the baby shark at Radford, Virginia. Yeah. I think maybe Tough he needs to there. turn the song on and maybe that will give him some luck. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to play it. If we play it, it might it might get you a uh, what do you call it a copyright infringement. So yeah, which knows? I do have an I do have an FCC license. So if they if they protest it, I'll just give you my you know, and I and I told the other people I've worked with as well before. If they if they block it, you let me know. I'll put the number on there and say put it back. So that's right. But uh, nonetheless, we are under the yellow flag here. Uh, uh, for the most part, it's it's been a fairly clean race for the most part. Uh, uh, Robert, I, mu I must say, man, we're almost coming up on halfway here in the. Eldora E Dirt Derby presented by ComServe Wireless, and uh, I, I know there's been a lot of changes. I know normally we're on another network, and we quickly around the midnight hour switched everything here to Freaky Fast. And, and Robert, I appreciate you stepping up and 
doing what you had to do to make it happen on your end. I know it was kind of a, a, a last minute to thing, but you know, uh, like I said, Billy and Rhonda Smith, they wanted to kind of make sure we still had some type of uh, avenue to broadcast. And like I said, uh, just amicable decision to part ways on the other network's part. And, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know. Uh, but right now, we, the show goes on, as they always say. Regardless of uh, the things that happen behind the scenes, we got to make sure we entertain them. And, and that's what we're doing here as we are back underway. We're coming up on the halfway mark of this race. As uh, Brett Rolls trying to finally beat Garrett Maines, which, by the way, Robert, he's on a quest for three in a row. Garrett Maines is trying to win three wins in a row on the Swag PMI Super Truck Series or Truck Series here at the Eldora Speedway as he's won the last two races, most recently at North Wilkesboro and at Rockingham uh, last week. If he wins this event tonight, it is three wins in a row for the number one. Wow, that is uh, that is uh, something that some uh, you know the, uh, all these trucks out there do not want to see. You know, he's he's a bounty right now. He, they got they they're after him, so that that would be great to see it. Um, can he make after tonight though? Can he make it four in a row there, Wesley? As uh, I'm not sure where his schedule is. As we are back under caution again there, sir. Another yellow flag. Another visit by the Banana Republic flag, as they say. The yellow colors as we go under caution. We'll find out what happened. By the way, we are just after halfway. 51 in, 49 to go. It's, uh, man, it's been a it's been a good show so far. Looks like Kyle M. Flowers was involved again. Yeah, another bad break for Kyle Flowers. Oh, hang on. Now, my question to you there, Wesley, is do they have a fast repair here? Uh, they do have one fast repair. They are allowed to take one fast repair in this okay. race. One fast repair. I was going to say that five truck looked pretty clean there. <laughs> After all the thing that we were seeing at the beginning, the truck looked pretty nice and clean. So that, that would explain it. Okay. So we have caution laps counting. We have uh, 53 in. We have now four, uh, 48 remaining. And this has been a fairly good show so far. As again, Brett Rolls, the man out in front in the number nine machine. Well, a lot of this is going to come down to as uh, we are uh, halfway now. A little bit halfway here with these guys at the Swag Motorsports. And uh, I think things are going to start heating up here in the next 20 laps here. Wesley, I think you're going to see a little bit more yellows, unfortunately. And I, th I think you're going to see some beating and banging. And it's going to get a little heated. Not, not temper-wise, but a little bit of heated out there on the track of uh, trying to get that one position. As I do not know the point standing, so I don't know how the point standings actually work. So, well, but, currently it's uh, currently it's Gary Maines, the man of the number one machine for Elliott Sadler Esports, the number one Toyota green. for Smithfield Food Ford on the outside lane. They'll come back for the restart. Green flag back in the air. Here comes Rolls. He'll get the outside lane on the whole shot. Here comes Maines. He'll follow along. Gagnon will follow in the same suit as well. Those three trucks will stay single file. Bottom of the racetrack now goes Duval. He had a shot on the inside. Another visit by the caution flag. This is yellow flag number seven here in 56 laps. Caution out over the speedway for this uh, event in the Eldora E-Dirt Derby presented by CompServe Wireless. Let's take a look at the instant replay, Robert, and we will find out what happened here as uh, we watch this replay. Uh, Jason Maines, teammate and father to Garrett Maines, the leader. I see him up there. Oh, there it is in the back. 33, Franklin gets turned into Johnson. He gets turned into the 15 and Navarro. The 14 also collected, and there is the reason why we got uh, another multi-truck accident for about the fourth time in their race. By the way, truck number 14 was Billy Weeks and Jason Rominger in truck number 15. So that is why we go under caution again. Ninth yellow of the race. Well, I just said it a little bit right before we went back green here, Wesley. I got a funny feeling things are going to start heating up here. And you can already see it. People are starting to get a little bit more aggressive out there.
It is, it is going to be 42 laps to go, 42 laps remaining. As again, Brett Rolls is the man out in front. Garrett Maines in second. Duvall. Okay, they're going to put Gagnon in third. Duvall's going to fall back to fourth. Curtis Critchley in the top five. By the way, Curtis Critchley, the Daytona winner. And, and, and mind you, this is race number f uh, four of the season. The other three races, or the other three races, Critchley won Daytona. Garrett Maines was in the hunt to win Daytona, but he got crashed. And then it has been all Garrett Maines since then in trying to go for three wins in a row. Green flag goes back in the air. Mains up the racetrack. Here comes now the opportunity for Rolls to capitalize on the inside. He'll drift up the racetrack now. Crossover. Will he go for the slider as they work their way back out of turn number four? It's heated, Robert, for the lead. It's getting down to the final. 40 laps in turn one. Now it's a shootout. Well, Garrett Mean is definitely trying to use that slide job, but it is not working. It's working entering Trouble. exiting. Trouble, turn number two, bottom of the racetrack. It looked like Navarro got spun in the 42. A couple of other trucks also involved. And we are going to go under the yellow flag again. Robert, I'm going to let you take over for a minute, buddy. I have to step away real quick. Give me about two minutes. That is okay, sir. All right. As we watch here on the Freaky Fast Instant Replay, we are going to watch Andrew here. We're here in the 42 gets involved into this wreck. As we'll see, oh, right into the, oh, man, hard into the five. Noah, man, that five is a pinball, pinball machine out there tonight. All right, as we go back live here, I want to say thank you to everybody who's tuning in out there for the first time here at Freaky Fast Broadcasting. Hope you enjoy the content that we are giving you. As Wesley stepped away, and uh, we'll get ready to go back green here very shortly here. After having a uh, caution number eight thrown here at Eldora Super Speedway. Well, how's everybody doing out there tonight? Everybody having a great Thursday night? So it looks like we're getting ready to go back green. Pace truck lights are off. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. Green flag is out. We'll see what Garrett can do here. If he's going to try to do that slide job this time, at running there in second position. It looks like he's going to stick to the high side. And oh, now we got a three wide battle for the lead. Nope, we're going to fall back single file here. As oh, we are under yellow again. Oh man, these guys are starting to beat up some trucks now, aren't they? Looks like we had a huge wreck back here. Looks like Billy Weeks was involved. Andrew, Jason, Kyle. here and see exactly what happened if that's all it's all up in front look at that oh man demolition derby baby trucks all over the place looks like we got a truck sitting down on pit road too
67 laps completed of 100 here tonight as we're going to get ready to go back ring here and we're going to have Garrett starting on the outside there green, green, and green. green flag is out hang on here we go beating and banging you can just hear the trucks just hitting the wall Slipping and sliding, trying to find the grip that they can. Oh no, it looks like the 33 of Aaron's going around again. Do we see a caution? No, we do not. Looks like he's... Oh, yes we do. Caution is out again, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. Things are heating up here. Fast broadcasting's replay here, and let's see exactly what happened with the 33. I do believe he just got loose. I don't think no one contacted into him, and I think he just spun around as we'll watch here live. And oh, yep, oh no, he did get a little tag. I'm not sure who tagged him, but looks like no harm, no foul. Didn't hit the wall. Wow, I want to talk about some dirty trucks out there. Oh, now it looks like the 33 is just gonna enter pit road. Looks like he's gonna call it for the night. Got to give a big shout out there to Matthew Lee. He's uh, looking pretty good right now. He's back here running in eighth position. We got Derek back here in that number seven, up one position, running in ninth position. Seventy-two laps in the books. Green flag. Green As flag. Green flag is out. Anything for them front front pack leaders as Devolve's gonna look pretty decent out there. Oh, look how slippy and slidey these trucks are starting to get. Starting to pull away here from Brent in that number nine. These guys are hitting the wall. Man, listen to these trucks just smack the wall, everybody. That is the thing. Try to keep that rear end off the wall, but you also want to whip it out as hard as you can. As we're riding here with Matthew in that sixth position, zero four. Nice sponsor. Toyota. All right. Nice. We'll go inside and ride with him. Watch him work that wheel. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And I tell you what, after you're done racing the track around here at 100 laps, my arms would be falling off. <laughs> This is a workout as we are under yellow and it looks like Pete was involved. Pete, Pete, Pete in the 51. Hey, Robert, I'm back, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, we have, we're under caution again. Uh, man, I, I literally, I, I think they had something wrong with my paperwork at the hotel that I checked in. So I had to step away and fix it. They're beating on the door. So I, I apologize for that. Nope. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Life is life, man. <laughs> People don't realize it. A, I guess they don't know what CLC is, corporate logic. But anyhow, uh, oh wow, here we go, wreck it again. Here we go, round and round. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Since you walked away, this is the fourth yellow we've been under here, Wesley. These guys 
Tempers, I, like I said, I don't want to say tempers, but things have been heating up hard, man. These guys I got you. beating and banging and hitting and scrapping and throwing soda cans at people. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. And all the while, they still continue to try to run down Garrett Mains in the number one machine. He is out in front. Brett Rolls is in second. B.J. Duvall third. Brandon Gagnon, Curtis Critchley, the top five. Matthew Lee, Jared Mogard, Derek Fulton, Nicholas Sacco, and Peyton Howell, the top ten. Lights are off of the pace truck. We will try it again. 80 laps in this time by a 20-lap shootout coming up on the restart as they are on the back straightaway. A, a good show, though. The truck's coming down to the end. Should be a good race here to the finish, uh, Robert. Yeah, I agree, Wesley. I want to watch and see what that uh, Brent there can do in that nine. He's been trying to work that low line doing the slide job. But what I'm seeing right now, Garrett's been trying that, too, early in the race. Flag, and flag. it seemed like his work in entering, but exiting, it wasn't working out so well for him. So we'll have to see what these guys can do to change that. And how this is all going to work out, as you do see that nine way down there below again, trying to, trying to get that line. Oh, we oh, got trouble. trucks in the back. Yellow, yellow, yellow. It looks like it was Mogard and a couple other trucks that got turned there, and it is Mogard of the double zero. It's also Daytona winner Curtis Critchley in 54, and the caution is out again here with under 20 laps to go. Wow. I, I hate even, that. I don't even think they got one lap in there, sir. I really don't think they did. We're going to take a look at the replay. We'll check it out again. Watch this. Wow, wow. Mogart, Critchley in the mix. Up the racetrack, there's Mains, rolls, and here we go. Double zero. He got turned and had nowhere to go. Critchley goes crashing. Crashes is off Fulton in the seven. Derek Fulton, truck number seven, into the double zero, into the 54. And there is uh, the cause of the yellow flag. Man. 18 laps to go. The One of the Phantom Graphics entries, number seven of Bolton. And, uh, for insult to injury, uh, the, the truck of Aaron Johnson got a little punt in the pants as well in the back. Well, well, well. What is this, like yellow flag number 13 now, I think? Uh, <laughs> somewhere around there. Yeah, we lost count. Yeah, I, I just I gave up. Okay, so Robert, what else do you broadcast here on Freaky Fast Broadcasting now besides the Swag PMI Truck Series on Thursday night? Uh, well, on Saturday nights, we still got World Series of Sim Racing League at 845 as they get ready to start their playoffs. Uh, of, uh, Woo, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. Oh, okay, we're not going <laughs> to talk about playoffs. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> so ahead. we, we uh, are going to be there with them at 845 at Chicago. Then we got Sim Racing Unleashed as they get ready to uh, start their playoffs after Talladega race this Sunday night. Sweet. So after that, green, then green, we will, uh, well, I'll, I, well I'll, I'll, I'll fill in after we can here a little bit as we are back green. Back underway here. Let's, uh, we'll see what happens as this race is down to the wire. Coming down to the wire to the finish here tonight. Ooh. As 16, make it 15 laps to go. Garrett Maines is the man out in front. Brandon Gagnon, Matthew Lee. Here we go. Ooh. There's contact. Matthew Lee. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, it's no. in the, oh my goodness. Was that Brett Rolls? Yes, it was. No. no. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, no. Matthew Lee and Brett Rolls getting together. Holy cow. Oh, man. Our second our second place runner was involved. Oh, no. We'll have to go Let's back. Take a look at a replay of this. Let's watch the replay, see what happened here. Oh, he's trying to work that low line on that restart there, Wesley. And I think what happened here, we'll see here. I don't want to say, but I, I got a funny feeling. Yep, I had a funny feeling. Matthew was loose trying to save it from hitting the outside wall there, going across the start-finish line. And unfortunately, that nine was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, sir. Oh. Brett Rolls and Matt Lee, there you go. And there's the cause of the caution. Well, I am happy to see three Toyotas up in the front. Wow. Hey. Mains, Gagnon, Duvall, Navarro, <coughs> Howell, your top five. Along with Byron, Sacco in seventh. 
Helene eighth, Mains ninth, and Fulton in tenth. Can anybody stop Garrett Mains from getting three wins in a row? Brandon Gagnon now in the Cats Whisker, along with Duvall, to try to pull this upset here. We're ready to see a shootout. Lights are off on the pace truck. My lights are off, ladies and gentlemen. With 12 laps to go. It'll be 11 laps to go when we go across the start finish line here. This is real quick, uh, and then on Monday night, I will be live with uh, Evolution uh, Adrenaline Racing League. And then awesome. Tuesday night, we have a double header with ARCA cars, with Evolution ARCA, and then we also have the Evolution at 920 Cup Series, which we are in a round of 12 playoffs with two races to go. So that is awesome. And then Wednesday night, we're green, back green, with Sim green. Racing Unleashed in the Truck Series. But we are back green. You can check the schedule on Facebook and YouTube at any time you like. There we go. Freaky fast broadcasting for more information. Go, green go, flag go. back in the air. We are under caution. No, again. we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Just as fast <laughs> as we got back underway, the yellow flag will wave. Oh, man, oh, man. A 10-lap shootout coming up here. Man. Yeah, I had a funny feeling that we were going to see this. Great racing at the beginning. Heat one, heat two was great racing, but we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Final 50 laps. They've been tearing them up like crazy for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, I hope, you know, thank God this is virtual because can you imagine the money that... The, oh! oh. 15, Rominger got into rolls. Rolls into Rominger, however you want to say that. Flip-flop it. Roll, roll and Rominger. <laughs> Wesley, you're not. Rominger rolls and noodles right there. Roman noodles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good one. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, under the caution flag again here. I had too much Italian the other night. I got still got Italian on the brain. You got pasta thinking about pasta, Roman noodles. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love Italian. You remember, I love Italian. That and funnel cakes. Yes, sir. Funnel cakes. He does. Yeah, funnel cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. Under 10 laps to go. So do you like to go to like to all the county fairs or state fairs around the country and just try their funnel cakes? You know, like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of barbecue. So everywhere I go to, I, I, I like to try their barbecue. Uh, actually, yes, I do. I try uh, funnel cakes wherever I go. If they have them, I'm trying. There you go. There you yep. go. Yep. So how many times have you just went to the grocery store and, you know, bought your own funnel cake mix and made your own homemade funnel cakes or... See if your wife cooks them on Thanksgiving or so. You know, Thanksgiving's around the corner. The hell with the hell with pumpkin and apple pie. You want a funnel cake? <laughs> no, I'll take a pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the restart of the Ryko Racing Setups restart box screen back in the air. It is eight laps to go. Now make it seven to go. Here comes the ball. Power it on the inside of Gagnon for the top spot. He is there. He can't catch him down the back straight away. And while that goes on, it is Garrett Bain still pulling away. We're rocking again in the back. Trouble. Turn number two on the back straight away. But it looks like they're out of harm's way. They're going to keep on going. No costume. It will stay green. That is right. As we've got a big, big on battle going on right now here. Whoa, we Whoa, did. Whoa, trouble. Turn oh, two. Yellow, yellow. Oh, no. Is that Duvall? I think it's Duvall. Yes, it is. He got spun. The LSR TV. Number 32 machine for Team Outlaw Motorsports is Toyota. Goes into the spin cycle. And just like what happened to Brett Rolls, if you will, uh, now it has happened to Will Duvall. What a tough break. Wow. Man. Wow, these top runners are going to be starting way in the back here with uh, not a lot of laps to go. This is 15 uh... caution flags now here at Eldora, another yellow flag. Here comes Gagnon, and, and here comes Duvall, Will Duvall. Ooh. Got some help from the 10, and send him around, and that's a tough break there for the LSR TV Toyota for Outlaw Motorsports, the Outlaw Will Duvall for Mannington, West Virginia, because honestly, Robert, he had been inside the top three the entire race, and then he gets hit by the 10, and and, and it, you know from Ken Byron and it takes his chances out. He's got I mean he's got to run. It's a four lap shootout now. He's can, he don't have enough time to get back up there in battle. No, not starting way back in the back of 16th position. It's going to be hard unless you get a lot of well unless you get big carnage in front of you. I mean yeah. that's the that's the only thing which I don't see happening. Hopefully not. But I, you know I'm just looking at the top five runners here. You have Pete in the 51. Haven't talked about him much all night. Up 13. Pete Polini, yes sir. Yeah, yeah, I mean you got Ken. He's up. He's up six positions. 
you know, the only one that really didn't get beat up right now is Garrett running up there in the, you know, lead. In the number, yeah, the number one truck. I mean, he got passed a couple of times for the lead, but he never got caught, cautioned or wrecked or crashed or anything. But that could change here now green because you've got drivers flag. like Brandon Gagnon, Peyton Howell, Andrew Navarro, all in this mix. It's a green-white checker shootout overtime number one. First attempt in overtime to settle this thing here. If we get a caution, will we rack them and restack them and try for three attempts? Here we go. Into turn number three. They're four wide out of turn number four. Will they hold it together? Yes, they will. White flag in the air. One more lap to go for Gary Baines. Race is official, and they're three wide for the final time in turn one and two, Robert. Oh, my God. Oh. They're, they're wrecking all over the place, sir. Wow, here we go again. Wait again. Jeez. Contact, crash. <laughs> They'll still race to the checkered flag. Here he comes out of turn number four. Can you say three in a row? A hat trick for Gary Maines. He'll win the Eldora E-Dirt Derby here presented by ComServe Wireless and Eldora. Wow. Gary Maines wins. Brandon Gagnon second. Peyton Howell third on the podium. Andrew Navarro, Nicholas Sacco, and Matthew Lee will finish in sixth. Bolton seventh, Church Kendall, and Maines, his father, in the top ten. Oh, my goodness. What a wild last lap that was. Oh, here comes the pyro. I moved the camera so we don't scare everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a good show. All right, so it's all said and done. It's Garrett Maines picking up the win. Oh, Woo. he is the... Uh, second different winner on the series, uh, Curtis Critchley won Daytona, and since then it has been all Garrett Maines. Wow, getting it done. He won North Wilkesboro, he won Rockingham, and now he wins tonight at Eldor. We're going to put a bounty on him. We're going to do something to stop this guy. Like seriously. Got it going on for sure. Uh, uh, by the way, my apologies. Uh, it wasn't North Wilkesboro. It was uh, it was Atlanta. He won Atlanta, and uh, and then he won Rockingham last week. And, and now next week we go to Phoenix. NASCAR is at Phoenix this upcoming weekend for the NASCAR Championship Four. We're at Phoenix next Thursday night. Coverage on CRN Sports and Freaky Fast Broadcasting scheduled tentatively, unofficially for uh, again. Uh, 8 p.m. 8:30. Normally it's 8 p.m. Eastern. Normally we we started a little late tonight because of traveling logistics. Normally the race is at 8 o'clock. But anyhow, results: Garrett Maines the winner, Brandon Gagnon second, Ian Howell third, Andrew Navarro fourth, and Nicholas Sacco in the top five. Matthew Lee, Derek Fulton, Kernan Church, Kendall, and Maines his father top ten and. Honestly, if you want to give them the rest of the rundown, that'll wrap up the race here, and we'll get ready for the interviews. All right. Well, as I get ready um, for the interviews here, um, you can see the unofficial results here. Um, I got to jump servers, so I don't know if you don't mind running through that real <laughs> yeah. quick because I got to sure, sure. I got to try uh, to jump servers here and go. Geez, I'm all over the place. Ken Byron will finish in the 11th spot. B.J. Duvall, a tough break for him of the Team Outlaw LSR TV entry. He'll finish in 12th. Jared Mogard will finish in 13th. Uh, and uh, I lost the stream for some reason. I don't know what happened. Uh, but anyhow, the rest of the rundown will include also um, the drivers of, uh, let's see here, uh, Rominger, Brett Rolls in 15th. Curtis Critchley is in the 16th position, followed by 17th for Billy Weeks. Uh, then it's going to be 18th again on the racetrack going to Pete Polini. And by the way, he is the uh, the the on-the-rail paints fall brawl super late model champion this year. And uh, the Michigan native out of Sparks, Michigan. Then we have Kyle Fowler, the Legends car champion for the fall brawl as well. The on-the-rail paints fall brawl Legends car champion. So, And then when it's said and done, it is Aaron Johnson. Jake Franklin, Jim Grady, and Bladen Edwards. Now, now Grady and Edwards weren't able to start the race, uh, but we did have 23 trucks attempt to try to run here tonight at Eldor Speedway. All right, Robert, we're ready to go, I believe, for post-race interviews, sir? That is correct. As we'll get ready to have our post-race interviews, I'm going to cut the stream on your side there, Wesley, and yes, I'm going to hop over to the other side. So we thank are. you, sir, and um, I will catch you here in a little bit. All right, buddy. I'm actually going to join you. I'm actually going to join you over here. I think we're going to try to grab the uh, the interviews here. All right. Uh, I'll let you handle that, and uh, and then I'll we'll wrap it up here in just a second. Go ahead. All right. We will be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, we are back here with our post-race interview here tonight with these guys here at Eldora Motor Speedway, and we are going to have an interview here with uh, Peyton Howe. We got Brandon in the 83 and Garrett Main making it three in a row, taking a hat trick here tonight at Eldora. So we'll quickly uh, grab here Peyton and uh, see how his race was. Peyton Howe, you got a copy there, sir. Yes, sir, I did. All right, man. Hey, congratulations on getting your uh, third place finish there, man. That truck was getting beaten, banging all night, left and right, left and right. But somehow you found your way up to third position. How did it go? And how did you get yourself up there and out of that carnage in the back there, sir? I started third and I just was really slow on the tacky track. And so I fell back to like 11th. And then I was going to get stage points in the first stage and got turned with two to go. And then in the second stage, it got turned with three to go. And then had to claw my way back up from like 20th to like 8th, and then went back to 20th with like 25 to go, and then come back to finish third. Oh, 10 4, man. Well, good run. Good run in that Swags Toyota, which I'm a big Toyota fan. So I am happy to see Toyota finish in the top three. Yeehaw. Happy guy right here, sir. But. All right, man. Well, congratulations again on your third place finish. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to before we let you pack your stuff up and get ready to head off to Phoenix next week? Thank uh, Swag, everybody at Swag, Sim Power, uh, Body Balance by Rhonda, New River Recycling, and uh, Billy Smith for having the team together. And I, these guys are awesome. And four. All right. Well, congratulations again from here from Freaky Fast Broadcasting, sir. And we will catch you uh, next week at Phoenix. Thanks. All right. That is the quick interview there with Peyton Howe. Good job for him getting up there in third position. But we're going to roll on here to Brandon Gaston. I do believe I said his last name right and probably not. If not, he will correct me. But do we have him here in Discord? Got a copy, Robert. How are you? Okay. Sorry. You're boss boy. Okay. I'm not used to uh, uh, nicknames, but good, man. How you doing, sir? Man, great, great. Did I say your last name right? That's all good. Gagnon, Gagnon, however Ga you want. Gaskin, Gagnon, Gagnon. Uh, I'll eventually get it right after 10 races in the books. <laughs> but anyways, man, in that 83, you're up three positions from the start of tonight's race. You finished second here tonight, man. It was a good race. Uh, how did the race look go out there for you, and how, how did everything look out there for you, sir? Oh, good. The goal was just to stay in the top five because it seemed like if you dropped any further back, you're gonna gonna be in a mess of things. So we wanted to keep it up front as long as we could and kind of adjust the line as the track kept changing on us. Ten four. Well, my next question to you is is that, and I was talking to Wesley about this. How long did the track stay tacky until it did it started slipping up there for you? Was it about halfway through the race? Yeah, a little over halfway. We got a lot of cautions that kept it uh, that that kept the track and really really good condition for a while but then once we got to about 60 to 70 to go or lap 60 to 70 it uh really got slick there and you could see everybody changing their lines on each lap yep yeah, uh, i that's i noticed that i was paying attention at now i'm not a dirt guy sir so i do know a little bit about dirt and that's what i was watching i was looking for the ball head shininess into the turns and really didn't see too much out there so i thought well these guys are uh you know looking around and everything but anyways it was a good race for you, man. Um, I really don't know much more to say. I'm still learning all you guys so out there, so I do appreciate all the fans sticking around and uh, helping me out here. But I'll let you uh, have the final words here tonight for your second place finish before uh, you know you pack yourself up and get ready to head to Phoenix, which is uh, going to be a, another tough track in these trucks with this aero package, man. Yeah, absolutely. I want to thank everybody at Studio Displays, the team, Swag, Swag Wraps and Graphics, uh, Billy and Rhonda. Uh, my teammate Matt had a good run. Peyton with a great run. Uh, it's always great running with Garrett. Clean race with him. Wesley, uh, thank you for jumping on board last minute. You too, Robert, and uh, everybody else watching. We appreciate it. All right, not a and problem. And Conserve, sorry, the new the new sponsor onto the team. Conserve, appreciate you guys being on here as well. Thank you. Yeah, so that's a beautiful uh, wrap that you got going on there, sir. Thank you, Tyler Wicks. There you go, there you go. Check them out there on Facebook, I would imagine. Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you very much again there, Brandon. And congratulations on your second place finish there, man. And we will catch you in Phoenix next week, sir. Thank you, Robert. Not a problem. All right. Well, here we go. Let's move up to uh, Garrett Means, man. Guy that puts down the hat trick tonight. 
finishes in first place with that Smithfield. What's he running here? Toyota. That's right. Toyota. But Garrett, you got a copy there, buddy. Yes, sir. Uh, let me turn you up here a little bit. Well, man, what a race. What a race. You started up front. You had a little bit of battling going on there with a couple drivers. I seen you try to use that low line early and do a little bit of slide job here and there. It seemed like on the slide job, I was telling Wesley, with you entering the turn, it was working great. But exiting, it, you were losing all your ground on exiting. What did you do to change that mid-race? Uh, did you change the way you entered, or did you decide to take the high line? Or what, what was your game plan there, sir? Well, the first time, uh, when I first lost the lead, I'm not really sure what I was, what I was thinking. Um, I knew it was around the top, and I just, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what. Um, but I decided to go to the bottom for some strange reason. And I didn't even like slide jump. I just ran the bottom oh. and I just watched both of them drive around me. I was like, well, that was really smart. And I looked down and I'm like, man, there's like seven to go on this stage. What the heck was I doing? But um, as the track started to slick off a little bit more, the slide jobs were worth more just because the guy was coming out of the slick to cross over. So he was kind of killing his momentum yeah. where I was coming up to the cushion and you know able to grab that for some grip. Um, it, it was kind of hard to throw slide jobs tonight and just hard to get momentum in general. It's really, really tight on entry. And so it was a struggle to keep the right rear off the wall because at the angle you were going, you're going to slap the right front when you did it. Yes. Um, but I, I started to find my way around there at the end, especially when it got really, really slick. I, I have some lines that I prefer to run, especially when it's tight like this, um, that I could get up on the cushion and just get some momentum. But I knew once I got out front, uh, it was going to be good. It just I kept... I kept getting stuck on the restarts where either I wouldn't get a good enough jump or I couldn't get clear before the yellow would come out. And it was just it kept putting me back behind the eight ball and I just I got lucky and fortunate to be able to, to get out front and stay out there. I felt, I, I felt bad for Brett. He had uh, he battled me clean the whole night. We actually raced a race uh, last weekend on a dirt track. It was a dirt track in Charlotte. And, uh, it was in the trucks, and we had a blast battling that. So yeah. it was definitely a a, a rematch, and I, I wanted him to, to finish second there. It, it was a good battle, and he, he raced me clean, but definitely unfortunate to see how that went. He had no luck coming back through there either. I know he got off the P5, and then he got wrecked again, and I was like, dang. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's bad luck considering he'd run so well, but. Well, I, I definitely feel confident going into Phoenix. It's one of my best tracks, but um, I definitely got to thank Smithfield 101 CBD, Sim Seat, Strickland Hardy, um, all the guys at Elliott Sadler Esports for all the work they've been putting in, uh, getting prepared for pro, and we just rounded out the uh, DNIS championship, so that was really cool. And I uh, also got to thank Richmond Raceway for all their support. I watch you guys, you know, week in and week out, and I do apologize. Apparently, I had my mic muted on interviews because I don't do interviews. So, all the fans out there didn't hear me talking, just heard you talking. But, anyways, the past couple of weeks I've been watching Wesley and you guys race, and uh, I tell you what, you look stout out there, man. You look, you're fast, and uh, I think you can run for the championship tonight, but that's just coming from somebody looking on the outside and calling the first race tonight. So, again, congratulations, man, on getting the victory. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Hopefully we can, uh, what do you call it, make it, make it stick for the championship. I don't know how the, uh, the format plays out at the end, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. 
<laughs> see what we can get. That's right. Amen on that. But okay, congratulations to you again, sir. And uh, we'll let you go and we'll get ready to head off to Phoenix, man. Appreciate it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. I'm not used to doing interviews, so I do have my microphone muted there during them interviews until the end there with uh, Garrett. So I will reset that up and make sure I have it set up right for Thursday night next week. So again, this uh, broadcast was brought to you by Freaky Fast Broadcasting and quick uh, put together and everything. So stick around next week we'll have everything uh fixed up wesley and uh matt and now all the admins here will have everything in tow and ready to go we'll, we'll, we'll have a lot more time to be ready prepared for next week that's for sure amen on that sir amen on that but all right well from adora speedway wesley robert we'd like to say god bless everybody love you all peace out